Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, we're starting to do Bertram's M38 block here. Now the cylinders were pretty tapered and you can see there's a tiny shadow on number two and there is a tiny shadow on number one. Now I'm uh, boring through here for a 20 over piston and I'm leaving just a tickle over four thousandths to uh, hone out and I know I'll get that one and that one uh, that, that'll clean up uh, with the four thousandths of honing uh, we're gonna do number three and then number four and hopefully it won't get any worse hopefully it'll get better but uh, who knows uh, every cylinder was was quite a bit different here when I measured them so we're gonna try and uh, we're gonna try and get it at 20 over pistons in here if not we'll set up again and do a 30 over but I think I can get 20 if, if it doesn't get any worse from here I can get a 20 in there uh, I've got my digital readout set that should be 438 two tenths away let's see if we can get that dialed in there we go um, right at 438 that's the center line distance between two and three and uh, we'll set up and we'll uh, we'll start boring this one okay guys here's Bertram's block uh, this is a um, remanufactured M38 block we're looking at here just uh, in case you don't remember okay the serial number is RMC and for M38 the R was uh, re remanufactured now this was a standard bore but it was worn out so bad it was it, it was just a hair over 10 over at the top so I bored at 20 and there was a shadow on every one of these cylinders on the non thrust side and sometimes you'll see that you'll see usually the wear is on this side on the thrust side of the piston uh, sometimes when the, when the bore gets too big the pistons gonna start knocking around in there and it's gonna start kinda scooping this material out here now I couldn't get it at 20 so we're at 30 and we are very very close to 30 I maybe have a thousands to clean up in the honing machine uh, and then we'll fit, hand fit the pistons um, I just got it I thought I was gonna have to maybe creep out to 40 uh, but it did come in you know just like I say about a thousandths under so uh, next thing I'm gonna do is do the valve job on here I'll do a three angle valve job I get the uh, the guides reamed and the valves and the seats everything cut and uh, vacuum tested and uh, then we'll put it in the honing machine and then we'll get washed after that so uh, Bertram your engine is moving along uh, getting closer and uh, and while I had this sip set up and going I put a F head on there so here is the F head that came out of that CJ5 uh, I, I know a lot of you guys aren't following every video but uh, I took apart that CJ5 uh, the one with the strat and lift and uh, it was gray and the engine supposedly was supposed to be in good condition I did get it running like I said when I when I got that Jeep in and it didn't run real good so these bores were 40 when I opened this up these were 40 I bored number one and whoever bored this last uh, I don't know exactly what they bored it with but I bored this uh, to about 50,000 size just to, just to see what the cylinder was like and I had a dark shadow there and then down further I had another dark shadow there this this cylinder was so crooked uh, it was crazy but it did clean up at 60 uh, whoever bored this last time made an absolute mess of it and uh, I, I just don't know what happened but um, it's all straight and perfect right now uh, I do have plenty of material on here to hone and hand fit the pistons like I say there's gonna be 60 overs going in this one and 30s in Bertram's so this block is laid enough to have factory hardened seats in it 
I think you can see them there. So we'll get another uh, valve job finished on this F head. And then one after the other, they could go in the honing tank. And uh, they'll be ready for assembly right after that. So things are moving along. Lot, uh, lots of uh, engine stuff going on. But uh, more sheet metal videos coming. I know some guys uh, enjoyed those. And thanks for letting me know. Uh, I've got a lot more coming. But I've got to catch up on some engines uh, right now. And uh, sheet metal stuff is coming a little bit later. So hang in there. And uh, we'll get into the valve jobs next. Okay guys, I got eight new old stock valves in here. This is Bertram's engine. And the M38 went through a lot of different valves. Now this one is the latest version. It started out with just regular L-head intake and exhaust valves. Uh, it had the large keeper. Then it went to exhaust rotators. Uh, <clears throat> That was mid M38, and that lasted for a while through the M38. And then they went to this final version, and it's got the thin keeper on there. Hope you can see that. Uh, this is basically a F head exhaust valve. And like I say, this is my last set of valves for an M38 that has this style. Um, I've had this new old stock set for a while. So I use the same keeper as the as the F head exhaust, but the intakes. Let me get one out here. They have the exact same end on them. Now these are a little bit longer. This valve is a little bit longer than a normal intake or exhaust valve on an M38. Uh, so. Uh, this was the final version. Like I say, this is a, an RMC code. So this is a very late M38 um, engine. And this was the final uh, valve change that they did. You could get anything to work in here. If you had all um, original valves, um, just like a standard 2A or 3A uh, intake and exhaust, that would work. If you have the complete setup for the exhaust rotators, that would work as well. Uh, this was their final and best, most free-flowing uh, setup that they had. So we're going to go with this. Since I had one last set of new old stock valves, we're going to go with that on Bertram's. And they are the same type of valve. Now here is the F-head same type of valve as that has that F head keeper on it so um, that, that's just you know when you open up an M38 you never know what you're gonna get there's all of Bertram's uh, original stuff there and um, that's just how it is on M38s they, they were doing a lot of experimenting they were trying a lot of different valve uh, configurations and um, that was, like I say, their latest version. So I've got to get this F head uh, seats cut in that and seats cut in Bertram's. And you've seen me do that plenty of times. So I'm just going to jam through that now and um, I'll get that finished up. And uh, we'll vacuum everything down, make sure everything holds vacuum without a spring on it. And um, I'll be back with you a little bit later. Okay guys, I got Bertram's uh, M38 L head in the honing tank. The three angle valve job is done. You can't really see it from there. Uh, I did a three angle valve job, Bertram. Vacuumed them all down. They all held 20 inches of mercury. Uh, so, no problem on the valves. I have every hole uh, at three inch, 155 and a couple tenths. Uh, number four is three one fifty five. Number three is three one fifty five and two tenths, and then uh, a couple of them are one fifty five and four tenths. Uh, <clears throat> box of pistons is pretty pretty accurate. Uh, you know, sometimes the pistons are all over the place, but um, here we go. We got fresh three thousandths feeler gauge. We'll lay the piston in there, and we should have some drag. 
like we do. We got some we got perfect amount of drag on our feeler gauge. That is going to leave us with three thousandths feeler gauge. That's going to leave us inch and a half per side, not inch and a half, one and a half thousandths. I mean. Um, and like I say, this box of pistons, you can see number the, the one I got labeled for number one. Um, you know that pulls out a little easier, and that one pulls out just right. So the pistons are, are usually held within five tenths. Uh, I've I've never had that happen. They they don't seem to hold them that tight. But um, each piston is hand fitted to the hole. They're numbered 4321. Uh, we're going to take this support off here now. I'm going to chamfer the top of all these holes so the pistons go in easier. We're going to give it a ball hone to get the perfect cross hatch that we want for oil retention. And uh, that'll be it, Bertram. The, the machine work is, is going to be done right after that. It'll get washed and, uh, and then we'll begin assembly. Uh, there's a lot going on, so I'm trying to get everybody moved along at the same time. But um, your engine is just about done with machine work as soon as I uh, finish the ball home. So it's coming along. Hang in there. Okay, Bertram, finished with the ball home. I think you can see the chamfer on top of all of those holes there. Try and get you in there and show that to you with the light. Uh, kind of tough to see. We got a very nice cross hatch in there. And this will be a long life engine, like all the ones I build. So, uh, very happy with how it's coming out. And uh, assembly is next. So, we'll get this guy cleaned up. And uh, it'll be another day before you see uh, the assembly start to happen. But uh, this is where I'm at so far for you, Bertram. And um, we're going to end this one here, guys. Thanks for watching. And I will catch you on the next one.